Oh, you're the best brother. This is a very spare of the moment vlog. I was not gonna film today. I'm just trying to survive today, actually. Do you guys want to vlog today? Mark, I don't want to vlog. He, he doesn't want to? We'll just get him out of the frame. Yes, yes, that Mark. He want to vlog. He does? Okay, yeah. good. Tell everyone where's dad. Do you remember where he's he is? He's at the snow. He's at the snow. So who's the man of the house? Foxy. Foxy is the man of the house. And I want to protect me, brother. And protect me? Yes. Thanks, darling. So last night, let's just tell them a quick story time. Where did you sleep last night? I sleep in mommy's bed. And then what happened? And I rolled. She <laughs> fell out of bed. Last night was chaos. I'm pretty sure last night was my first night ever alone with Fox and Malachi. Like usually my mom's helping me or my sister's helping me. My mom's away, my sister's heavily pregnant. It was the most loved but anxious I have felt simultaneously in my life. Fox was so sweet and like in bed tickling me, but like I have to be careful what I say but it was it wasn't an easy night and we're running off not much sleep but today i thought we would just vlog our day quickly do you mind just watching malachi while i go wash my face yeah yeah is that okay i'm so tired like i ended up putting the boys to bed at 6 p.m because i knew that it would take so long for them to actually fall asleep and malachi has a cough so that's not ideal and then fox just wanted to talk like fox just wanted to chat to me for like three hours i'm pretty sure last time i vlogged this kind of day like when i had the boys when kurt was away i said the thing that's stresses me out the most is yes nighttime routine that is hectic that is hectic but it's also um like working and like managing my staff and my staff are so beautiful like I love them so much but their job heavily relies on me like making content and like filming myself and like being in meetings and when I've got the boys obviously I'm like in mum zone anyway as I was saying is when where did I put my when I've got the boys, obviously, number one, I'm just like, trying to survive. But number two, I'm just trying to be a present parent and I don't want to be like just making content. Like vlogging's different because I'm literally just filming what we do in the day and Fox loves vlogging. But I don't want to be doing like real. Yes, reels. you in the sun. I'm not in the sun. Well, I kind of wanted to try to take you guys to creche, but it's at such a bad time. Like creche starts at Malachi's nap time. So I don't know. Maybe you could go to creche and Malachi can sleep in the pram. No. Why? I am one kid. Chris was fun. There's heaps of kids there. Is it babies? Yeah, there's some babies. I've dressed I'm thinking that I'm going to work out. I didn't I'm work out yesterday. Yeah, I think we should hang in the sun, go to the beach or something today. So I'm hoping I can do it's something so active good. today. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Even if I just go on a walk, like, I don't care. But it's time for my morning cocktail, everybody. It's time for body bloom. I do eight drops of zinc. What's with the best thing? Like, what's my favorite fruit? Yeah. Banana. What's your favorite fruit? Banana. Is it really? I thought yours was watermelon. Ooh. And I just do a flat teaspoon. I have body bloom every single morning and have so for like a few years, like three, four years or something. Anyway, I forgot it when I went to Port Douglas. I was reminded how impactful it is on like my digestion, my morning situation, you know what I mean? And just like all around bloat. As much as I didn't want to come home from our holiday and we had the best time, I was like, oh my gosh, my tummy. If you're a person that suffers with like, not even suffers, but if you want to have like a good morning poop in the morning, like <laughs> I'm telling you, body bloom is my holy grail. I do body bloom and then I do this other probiotic because I'm breastfeeding. So it's one that apparently can go into your breast milk. What are you eating? You're supposed to peel it. What is this? <laughs> That is from him falling off the bed last night at like two in the morning. Does it hurt? No. What if I press it? It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh. so hungry, I'm gonna get chunky. <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna get chunky? Do you wanna make foxy pancakes? Yeah. We can't stand with the Shit, that's so nice, thank you. The energy this morning. Okay, if I don't go to creche, I think I'm gonna do an outdoor workout, like either in the backyard or at a park, because it's such beautiful weather. And I feel like at the moment, I'm not really using equipment anyway, like I'm just using dumbbells, if anything. So maybe I could do like a workout out the back on the deck or something. All right, should we make these pancakes? I'm 60. I'm 60. Are you 60, mom? Am I 60? Yeah. How dare you? You're 60! How dare you? You're 60! Okay, if I let you mash this, will you actually mash it? Don't eat it, mash it. Can I eat a little bit? No. Okay! We only have one banana. Yep, break it up. And then mash. Oh, there's a shell! Oh, a little bit of shell? Yeah. Got it. 
Put it on the side like that. Now this is just spelt flour. I'm gonna do a little bit of vanilla, yeah? Oh yum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, don't do it anymore. We'll go cook it. it tastes so yum. It tastes vanilla. You love vanilla, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh, well, look. look at that, Malachi. <gasps> Yum. You're not too sure. As most of you guys know, I do baby led weaning with both of my boys, actually. So Malachi has only had whole foods, really. Like he's had avocado, sweet potato, steamed broccoli, and, and banana. And mashed potatoes? He hasn't had mashed potatoes. So this is the first time that he's having like a recipe per se. I'm just going to call myself out here. I should have done scrambled egg alone. Well, it doesn't really matter because he has had banana before. So if he does have a reaction, it's obviously to egg. But usually I will do just scrambled egg in like an omelet that he can pick up. Up, but I don't know just because he's my second. I feel like I'm making this recipe I may as well make double for him. You're doing so well. His hand-to-mouth coordination is going so well If you are considering doing baby led weaning with your baby, I highly highly recommend it I loved it with Fox. I love it with Malachi. I feel like Fox is such a great eater I don't think it's from baby led weaning alone I do think it's because of the way Kurt and I raise him as well Like he eats what we eat. We don't not give him an option He gets to pick what he wants from the menu, but like he knows we eat healthy foods and we talk about sometimes foods and everyday foods and we talk about healthy foods and I explain why foods are healthy and like how it helps your brain and your skin and your muscles and you understand all of that. So I feel like educating children really helps. Well, it helps Fox eat healthy and like why he wants to eat healthy. This is a win. Look at you guys. You're enjoying that, Moo Moo. You're going to need more, aren't you? You're going to be hungry. This kid is like a garbage truck. He just like demolishes food. <laughs> you are the reason my grocery bill is so hectic demolished that banana pancake so I'm gonna give him some plain eggs and see how you go. This is how I do it. I just like roll it like a omelette. There you go. Now I will say he's very tired. Malachi's due for a nap and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll take him for your walk in the pram and then if he falls asleep oh, I'll do I, a little workout. Can I ride my bike to the park? That sounds like a good plan and you could ride your bike around and I could do some lunges or something. The key to giving myself some me time while having both boys to myself is being really flexible and creative. So it depends what me time means to you. And for me, it's like moving my body and doing something active. So if I can't make it to the gym, it's which is highly likely, I just try to not rely on that as my movement. Like I'd rather just go for a walk or go to the beach and do like an ab routine or something. Like I'm just embracing training in public at like parks and things like that because that is way more realistic and I feel like that's a better lifestyle as well than just like being inside a gym all the time like I really like showing my kids me working out and like my healthy lifestyle it's like osmosis they absorb it without knowing they're absorbing it <clears throat> look at this you're doing so well with the egg you're loving it he probably will choke soon but it's like not a full choke it's just like their gag reflex is so intense so with baby led weaning they do gag but babies are really good at bringing it up obviously monitor them and if they're really struggling like you need to help them but he'll often just like gag and then bring it back up but you're doing so well i am on a time limit there is no time limit like a kid napping limit malachi is napping fox is playing so i have like half an hour like who knows but i'm just guessing i have like 28 minutes in every workout pretty much all the time i use my sezi timer app it's available on apple and android i usually use my 30 minute pilates timer but i'm vibing hit like i want to like get my heart rate up and do like some jumping and I don't know, I have like a lot of energy today. So I think I'm going to do the OG Sweaty Shredder. Welcome to Sweaty Shredder. There's also sound effects on there. It's pretty much exactly 30 minutes and there's minimal rest. So when I have like limited time to train, number one, I only want to have a timer that's going to be like half an hour. And I don't want to rest for like minutes at a time because I just don't have the time to have those rest periods. I want like something quick, efficient, like a HIIT workout. So this is the Sweaty Shredder. As you guys know, it's from my first ebook, this one here, Sweaty it to shred it here are some examples definitely one of my most popular workout guides because it requires no equipment let's pick one i'm using week five sweaty shredder and i'm just going to tweak it a little bit just based on how i feel like moving my body so it's seven exercises you repeat each exercise six times but again if you have the sezi timer then Welcome it to Sweaty Shredder. Tells you exactly what to do. So let's get started. When it comes to cardio or a sweaty shredder, I like starting off with an exercise like this that just gets my heart rate up, gets me moving, gets the circulation going. So skaters is always
always a good one to kickstart a sweaty shredder. Such a classic but a great arm burner and core stabilizer. Another OG Sezi move, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know this is one of my favorite exercises of all time. I love in and outs because it really gets my inner thighs but also my glutes. So when it comes to abs, sometimes I get bored doing the same thing six times, like for six rounds. So like I said, you do six rounds of 30 seconds. So I just picked some different ab movements for each round. Squat jumps plus two lunge jumps. This one is intense. Again, for six rounds, I am only six months postpartum. So six times it was just too intense for me. So I just mixed it up with some Pilates supermans. So I ended up doing two rounds of the jumping squat jump and the jump lunge jumps. How many times can you say jump? <laughs> and then I did um, alternating supermans to burn out my glutes. Bear crawls. I feel like I always see this in my workout guides and I skip them. Like I'll make an alternate exercise. But when I do them, I'm reminded of why I put them in my workout guides in the first place. It is such a core burner. They are brutal. Like nothing gets me sweating like a bear crawl. Again, I didn't really want to do bicycles for six rounds. So every second set, I did commandos to just get my arms again. Then Mally was still asleep. So I rolled out for like two seconds. Not going to lie. I always get my roller out with the intention of like doing a full recovery foam roll session. And I just, I'd be lying if I said I did a whole session. No, I did it for like two seconds and that's a mini win for me. Also another honesty hour. I literally have no food at home, which is very unlike me, but I'm waiting for my groceries to be delivered. It's like my new thing. So we ended up going out to lunch, which Foxy loves. And Malachi also had some avocado. What are we doing, Foxy? Where are we going? Going to the warehouse. Going to the warehouse. I've got to do some voiceovers. I feel very productive and I feel disgusting doing this, putting makeup over a sweaty face. So I'm just putting a little tiny bit of the Array Perez oat milk foundation, a little bit of the chubby stick to bring me a bit of color. And then I'll just chuck some blush on and maybe a little bit of mascara. And it's gross because it's over sweaty skin, but like, I just like want to look a little bit more alive and vibrant today. So yeah, I'm literally in the driveway of the house. I think I'm going to have to start driving because babies in the car, they like movement. Okay. They don't like to be stagnant. I'll catch up with you guys when we are at House of Groms. I've just made it to the warehouse. Both boys are asleep, which is kind of good because at least they're getting a nap. But now I'm kind of stuck here. Also, I brought my whole makeup bag. The only thing I forgot, which is like the one thing that like brightens up my face is my mascara. Anyway, so my sister, you guys know, she has this podcast here. Welcome to the womb. My sister's a midwife, by the way. She has like a midwife Instagram. So they're currently filming her first course, which is like a breastfeeding course because that's kind of what she specializes in. So they are in the studio filming that and that should be out soon. So I'll let you guys know. I need to go in and do some voiceovers. That's that's a van that comes and delivers coffee. But I'm stuck here now. I wonder if someone will come and tag team with me. This is the set. Hello. Hey. Hey. This is Emily's set. Looks so cute. When do you think this course is coming out? couple of months okay so watch this space I'll let you guys know this is my sister who's Hi. heavily pregnant heavily pregnant so we're trying to when we I mean these guys they're trying to smash out this breastfeeding course before she explodes yes so I feel like I'm gonna explode today it's gonna be like breastfeeding frequently asked questions yeah it's everything. like breastfeeding basics breastfeeding common hurdles expressing bottle feeding do it's you pump good. when do you yeah, pump all exactly. that stuff yeah. so it looks so good though I love the set it looks so cute. Alrighty. Hello, Hemi. Both my boys were asleep in the car, so I'm going to be running up and down. What? It's a double door, by the way. What? I just learned. What? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Life's good. Okay. Okay. So nice of Georgia. She volunteered as tribute to go and sit in my car because the boys are asleep. I never, ever, ever get to do work when I'm in mum mode. So this is awesome. This room isn't finished. This is our podcast studio. And these, oh my gosh, I have to put, this is the brand. I'm going to say it wrong. This is the brand that have kitted us out. And like, it's so sleek. The acoustics in here, like the audio is amazing. And we still have stuff to put on the roof. We have some stuff to put on maybe the back of the door. I forget. Yeah, this is where we'll be podcasting from now on. And I'm going to do like a Venetian plaster on this wall and like a cool signage. Anyway, this is on. When Kurt and I podcast, like he's in charge of all this and so when he's away i'm like oh i need to put my big girl pants on and like learn is this on hello hello we have power so the voiceovers i'm doing as you guys know my healthy cooking app sunny 
We love her. We upload new recipes every single week. Can you believe there are over 450 recipes on the app? So this is what the app looks like. This is like the home page. This is like where you can scroll through the categories and you can go up here to those little bars and you can click like your dietary requirements and then you can search like anyway because it's currently spring here in Australia so we are doing like a spring campaign it's called spring into sunny and it's 20% off for the first three months of your subscription so you save 20% you just have to use code spring 20 on our website so if you want to get 20% off you have to make your account via the website like not through the Apple store or um, Google Play store let's test and see oh do I be a bad bish what's up welcome to sunny <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. What am I doing? Hello. Oh man, Kurt, where are you when I need you, bro? Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Hey, hey, no. What the heck? I'm so confused. Hello. What the heck? Okay, that's wrong. Hello. Oh, we're on. If someone in my team knows how to do something, I like won't learn it because I'm like, well, they know how to do it. Why would I waste my time? <laughs> I need to be the jack of all trades. I really do. Also, in every week of September, we're uploading meal plans and each meal plan has like a theme. One's like love your liver. One is gut healing foods. One is says your household, like foods that we eat at home. One is omega-3s. Like they all have a different topic. So I'll show you. Let me show you. When you go to the app, you click the fire emoji and then these are like blogs. But these ones are meal plans. So this is the says your household meal plan and it tells you all like the options you can have. So like Friday is Foxy Pancakes, Simple Prawn, Chorizo Paella, Paella, whatever. And dinner is Tandoori and Mango Chicken Pizza. Far out, yum. I could go that for dinner tonight. So obviously I designed this one, but our nutritionist, Jess Barber, she approves it all and like make sure you're hitting your micros and your macros. So it's a nutritionist approved meal plan. Okay, okay. I don't have time to be dilly dallying. Let's do the first one. Spring clean from the inside out this season. Head to Sunny Up today. Do I sound nasally? <laughs> Let me go again. Spring clean from the inside out this season. Head to Sunny Up today. Head over to sunny.com to save bloop, available every Monday for the month of September. Enjoy. That's good enough. Now, this wouldn't be an honest vlog if I didn't show you what 90% of my day consists of feeding my children and doing laundry slash tidying my entire house. So I actually tried some orange with Malachi, but I don't know if it gave him a rash. He's actually got some eczema at the moment. So I'm just kind of scaling back what I'm giving him in terms of food because I don't know if it's like due to food or not. Anyway, we're laying low on the citrus. People also have this idea that I always have this tidy house miraculously. And in reality, it's because I'm continuously tidying all day long. This is why I can't get any work done at home because I'll like sit down on the computer and then I look up and I'm like oh I should put the laundry away or like oh I should do the kitchen so yeah I'm just like you there's always something to be done Okay, it still looks really messy, but it's getting better. As you guys know, we finally moved into the warehouse. Oh my gosh, I hate. I hate when I've just come from the gym and I don't have my rings on. Let's go and get them. Because then there's a conspiracy that Kurt and I are broken up and we're not. I just don't want to wreck my rings going to the gym. I do. As I was saying, you guys know we have finally moved into House of Groms. This is my home office. It was covered in equipment, like wires, cables, whatever. Like, it was disgusting. And it still is kind of disgusting but this is definitely a step up from what it was the other day so i am in the middle of finalizing this room like all of this needs to go to house of grom studio i need to do like a stone plinth or something cute but i plan on doing a lot of my work here it's just like come to my sitting chair this is this is actually my bible reading chair i don't know why it's just like the coziest chair in the house but i plan on mostly working from here i do have a desk at house of groms so anyway in saying all of this i want to give you guys kind of like a house update because i want your opinion like genuinely can you comment below and tell me what you think of the following plan first of all this is a work in progress okay it's gonna be good secondly I have been procrastinating against this stupid bookcase literally for two years now I've just been saying like I don't want to just go out and buy stuff and fill it like I want to accumulate things over time and make it like meaningful with like books and stuff but like it's just ugly at this point we entertain up here a lot like after we have dinners and things like that what do I do send me a Pinterest do I do like books up there I like color like I don't just want it to be like white boho I'm kind of like over that number two what I need to do is find an artwork for Fox's room he likes all sports he likes the idea of like surfing and skateboarding so I was thinking like a cool skate print there great okay that's the other issue but the main 
thing that I think I want to change is downstairs. Kurt's not on board, but I feel like it's a really good idea. Oh, yay, yay, caramba. One of my favorite rooms of our house. It has such potential. As you guys know or may remember, when we first moved in, we planned, it's very we planned for this to be our office. We quickly realized we had expanded, outgrown this space. So this was our podcast studio here. It had like a half height wall. And then back there was all of the desks. And then we have like these beautiful windows that look at the pool. This should be the gym. Like I know I've got the upstairs Pilates room, but one day that'll be Malachi's bedroom. But this should be the gym. Imagine you come out here, you work out. Like I love these doors. Like you can have like that indoor outdoor feel. And like, I just like this wall. Like I want to work out next to the wall. <laughs> I've pitched this to Kurt. He's not really training at the moment. He's not as enthusiastic as I want him to be. He thinks it should be a parent's retreat, but honestly, I don't think we're going to retreat back there very much. Let me show you our current gym. This is our gym. Prepare yourself. Don't judge us. Don't judge Kurt. Actually, it's a Kurt issue. There's a few reasons I haven't been training in here. One of the main ones is I can't move in here, which like, it's fine. I'm a boy mum, okay? And like, my gym is now covered with mini life jackets, bikes, swags, so many surfboards, so many surfboards. Who needs that many surfboards? I'm fine to embrace boy mum life, but I, I can't train in here. And I don't want to be that annoying mum or that annoying person that's like, hey, Kurt, can you move your bike? Because I want to do squats, you know? So I thought I was being selfless and I said, I'll take one for the team. You can transform this space into your man sport cave, right? This is where I need your comments. Don't you think this should be a garage? Like, there are so many surfboards, they don't even fit. Like, kit this out, have a surfboard time, leave the boxing bag, maybe. I don't know, make that section up there the functional gym, like with dumbbells and... I don't really use these rings. Rings. What do you think? Tell me your opinion. Are you on my side where you think, yes, that should be the gym. We don't use that. Like, that is an unusable space at this point. This is only going to get worse as the boys get older. That's how I'm ending this vlog. That's the house update. There's a lot that needs to be changed. But now that we've been here for a while, I think, like, we know the kind of family we are. And, like, I know how we use the space. And I'm just being realistic. And I think that this is not going to get any better. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My next vlog I'm really excited about because it's all about, like, a healthy reset. I made some tweaks into like my health and fitness routine so I'm making a full dedicated video about those tweaks but anyway stay tuned if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week I'm just gonna shut this and um, be in denial anyway I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>